guys welcome or welcome back to my channel how are you doing today I wanted to do my makeup do a little transformation because I haven't done it in a while I've been looking quite crusty recently to be honest with you and I just wanted to put some makeup on pretty sure I'm gonna try to do like a um I'm sorry about this frame it's kind of blinding okay Alexa on euphoria everyone always tries to do this look which I kind of did um, be before, but I haven't really tried to do it to the T. So I'm going to try it. I want to put my hair extensions in and do like a little um, like side braid that's really long. I don't know. Just I just want to look cute today, you know? So. Sorry, I'm eating tater tots. Before we get started with this video, I'm going to go wash my face and I'm going to take you guys with me and I'm going to do like a little voiceover because I've been using this new face wash brush from Duval, their Mix Easy Cleanser. So th thank you so much to Duval for sponsoring today's video. I'll make sure to have all the links down below for their Radiant Spin Care System and also their Mix Easy Facial Cream Cleanser. I'll have even my coupon code down in the description box. You can get the spin brush for only $28 if you use my code Mackenzie D, which is basically 70% off. And then to get the Mix Easy Facial Cleanser, you can also use the exact same code um, for that to get 15% off. Pretty nice deal. I've definitely seen a big difference in using an actual spin brush. I think the difference in exfoliation and the actually getting inside of your um pores the spin brush actually gets inside of your pores and it exfoliates and even gets down to the makeup that you know a regular face wash wouldn't get to if you just use your hands it also comes with a nice little holder a nice little stand so it's really really nice to use and it's just easy and simple and also since the mix easy face wash is custom and you can choose the ingredients that you put into that formula i've definitely seen a difference with how my skin is i refined my skincare routine and figured out what i like so i definitely do like using the mix easy facial cream with my other um facial facial cleanser facial cleanser i also use their rose quartz roller on my skin after i put on my serum so i use this like ordinary serum that has really helped with the flakiness on my skin um, so basically just use that roller and it feels so nice. I put some water on it or I can even put it in the fridge for like a couple hours and then I use it and it just depuffs my skin in the morning and it just feels super duper nice. When you go to choose your formula on Mix Easy, you choose your skin type. I did do the normal combination skin type because I finally figured out my dry issues. So I don't think I specifically need any more like moisturizing per se. So I thought normal was a little bit better. For me now and then you can add up to five natural ingredients so i chose the purify and unclog minimizing pores fresh and soften dewy looking skin and also an even skin tone and this in my skin is uh it, it's questionable sometimes it really is they basically use different natural extracts and they all just put it together to make a perfect formula just for you so you can choose your own fragrance so i chose the honey and milk i think it smells super duper good you add it to your cart and then you make sure you use my code so that you can get some shmoney off because them um, why not the, the 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 deal is right in front of your face why not thank you duval again for sponsoring today's video i really do love your products and i'm so happy that i got to share it with all my viewers so make sure you guys click the links down below sorry if there's like no light on this side of my face i just um i packed up my ring light so i didn't want to have to honestly deal with it anymore i think i'm gonna just do my eyes because i think that'll be the easiest thing to do first sounds smart to me normally use tape um that's probably not good for me, but I don't like using anything else. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fan flippity fantastic, you know? Fan flippity tastic, is that a word? No, but it's fine. It's really fine. So, <clears throat> last two days ago, I'm so happy. If you guys watched my car tour, you know, I got my car or whatever ew there's a okay 
Um, and I was like really, really sad because my radio didn't work. Like we broke, I don't know if we broke it or just like got confused and I really am not sure. So I finally figured it out. Normally with older radios, there's like a little hole and then you just put like a, um, a safety pin is it a safety pin or like a sharp object and you just put it in the hole and it resets it super nice and uh, it worked I don't know how it worked but it did sorry my camera died okay <laughs> yeah I just put the pin in there like my dad said and he was pretty sure that was gonna fix it but I was still so afraid I was like if this doesn't work I'm just gonna cry. I'm I'm just gonna cry. That's that's it. I'm just gonna cry. I basically put the pin in and the screen just turned back on. I was like, thank God. So then I decided to put my LED lights in there. So if you have me on Instagram, you saw my LED lights. I posted it on my story. And they're really good. Um, who knows if it goes with the car very well, but I think it's super cute. And uh, yeah, now I just need to get it fixed and get my license, bada bing bada boom, and we're perfect. I don't know, I saw this girl's TikTok and she was doing the look, so I think I'm just gonna follow what she did. I don't know if I'm gonna do it very well, but we're just gonna try it, you know? Because yeah. I just love Euphoria. Let me know if you guys have seen Euphoria and if you haven't, I definitely recommend you guys go watch it. Like, if you get easily triggered by, like, abuse and, like, anything about drugs, I wouldn't watch it. But, um, other than that, if you are at least, I'd say, like, 17, 16, 17, um, you should definitely go watch it. It's the best cinematically put shows that I've, like, seen in a while in a while like the music just complements it so well and the editing it's just like i can't you know sometimes just either youtube videos or netflix i just it gets boring sometimes and i have to skip past a little bit but with euphoria like when i first watched it i was hooked from right there and i watched like the first season the whole first season like in a couple days it was it was so good. Oh my gosh. So I'm just waiting for season two to come out. I really want season two to come out. Let me know if you guys know when they're thinking they're going to get that out. I don't know when they will. I heard something like, uh, cause of COVID they couldn't record it. Like it was supposed to come out this year or something. I don't know, but each actor on that show just fit their part so perfect. And like, it's just crazy. What's the guy's name? Um, the guy who played the football player. Oh, what's his name? But um, you know he's an actor in Kissing Booth. They just came out with Kissing Booth too. Let me know if you guys saw it. I need to, uh, it's a little cringy, I'm not gonna lie. Kissing Booth's kind of cringy, but you know, it's kind of entertaining. It's kind of entertaining. I need to finish season, uh, I need to finish the second one. But yeah, it was like, he just fit, like if you see, him acting in kissing booth and you see him acting in euphoria it's like is that the same person or like it really shows the like how important the script is and how important you know all that is because you know he's a good actor you can t definitely see that in euphoria but with like kissing booth you're like he just seems like you're run-of-the-mill character i was i was shocked to say the least shocked Shocked. And Jules and Zendaya, oh my, like they just, and Alexa, they're all just bad bees and they just know it. They just know it. I'm gonna put brown and then get a little darker as I go. Um, and then the only thing different that I didn't do is that like they put brown right here with like white cutting. And then you put some brown right here with white. So, I think I'll be able to do this just by looking at the picture. We shall see. Recently, I actually did an eyeliner um, a couple days ago on 
Ava, why are you singing? Why is she singing? Like, I, her door's closed and I can hear her from here. Um. Uh, yeah, I would just post like an Instagram picture and I did my, I did eyeliner. I haven't done eyeliner since I think like 2015, bro. Like, I haven't done eyeliner in forever. Um. And that really showed me that I should do it again and get back into it. I mean, I just never got eyeliner again. And to do it, it just takes so much focus and so much just like, it really takes so much work, so much focus. It's just so hard. And my room's a mess. I'll show you. My room is a little bit of a mess. I need to go through my clothes and still sort them out. Before I move, I move in T minus, uh, what, like a week or so? <laughs> um, I move on August 6th. So I'm trying to have everything packed up before like the third, honestly. Oh my gosh, Ava's really going off right now. Do y'all hear her? And then I'm just gonna take some brown and just literally focus it on the lash line. I love smoked out liner like this. It's just the easiest thing to do and it really just like snatches your face. And it just looks so cute. It just really does. I also have to film another video, but I don't think I'm gonna get to it today. Like <clears throat> honestly I just um I wanted to get so much done before I left like for college because the first week I get there um I'm I have training week for my dance team and it's literally so busy and it's gonna get so hectic and I'm barely gonna even have enough time to unpack <coughs> what is up with my voice bro so she just sent out like the schedule for it so, like, literally, it's going to be so long. So, you're going to, like, go to breakfast as a team from 7 to 9. And then training, like, team workout and game day stuff, 9 to 11.30. Then lunch from 11.30 to 1.30. Um, then practice again from 2 to 5. <coughs> and then dinner from 5 to 7. So, I don't know if we're, like, expected to hang out each like during dinner and everything. I mean, I'm definitely gonna try to figure out, you know, definitely trying to make some friends. But um, at least I won't be going to the dining hall alone my first time I'm going, you know, I guess. Make my life a little bit easier. We'll see how it goes. But all I know is that schedule from 7 a.m. to 7 at night is gonna be the thing for um, a couple of days, like that whole first week, so. And, um, it, school hasn't, isn't starting when I get there, so. It's not like I'm not gonna have any, you know. It's just, we're trying to, I guess, get as much as we can in before school starts back up, and then we lose time to meet and everything, so. If we, basically, we're, like, learning two half times and getting everything together in this whole training week, so. That's a lot, like, we've, I've never, like, learned stuff that fast. Well, I can. It's just that with, like, cheer, everyone is always so slow, so we would take, like, weeks to learn one halftime routine. So, I like this speed, and, like, that is definitely what I wanted, so I'm super excited. It'll really challenge me in a good way, I think, so I'm stoked for that. I'm gonna put more concealer right here to really carve out what I'm about to do. Let me, let me explain. Does anyone just like always get their nails in their bronzer? Or is that just me? I keep poking it. I'm just gonna set it with white instead of nude. Is that what so that it really, you know, sets it in. I 
I don't know her looks kind of it's kind of a little bit like of a messy looking kind of thing I feel like I put too brown of a color she did more like orange There's what a girl, I don't really don't know what I'm doing, but that is what we're gonna get. But that's what I did. I think this one looks better than this one. This one looks completely different so um, I don't know if I put too much brown on the outside of the sun that's what I'm thinking <coughs> hello do you have my remote I think you left it in here my Roku remote yeah. I, I never grabbed it from your room and then one day it was on my bed I never put it in here, so. Me neither. Random ghost, I guess. That's fun. Kind of made it into wings, like two eyeliner wings instead of whatever the heck she did. It's not gonna mess with it until I'm done with my um, rest of my makeup. Oh, I don't think I showed YouTube my car keys. Why did it take me so long to do this? So I basically was trying to just put everything onto one little um circle and as I kept twisting I kept taking off the rest of what I tried to put on so it didn't it wasn't good but I figured it out it's so cute just a little Nike lanyard I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna order um, an airpods keychain case so I can put my airpods on here too just easy to have everything in one spot I'm gonna use my baby skin face primer and we're just gonna go ham I always like go so fast through my face because like I've just done it so many times and when I'm done with my eyes I'm honestly just like I'm ready to be over it because <laughs> I just want it to be done because the eyes it always depends on what I'm doing but the eyes always take forever sometimes so I realize I never I never tell you the shade I use my makeup forever foundation stick in Y225 so I'm not entirely sure the name of it but it works like a charm I've been using it since the beginning of quarantine so I've been using it since March and it's still pushing through so yeah it's fine whenever I'm like tan, like it looks good, but when I'm kind of pale right now, so it kind of looks yellow. So I'm thinking about maybe getting another shade, especially when winter starts back up. I might be looking a little bit more uh, white. It's online, and I guessed my foundation shade. I don't know how it worked. It probably barely matches. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> what I need to do is go to Ross to get more dorm stuff because I haven't done that yet. I'm telling you, I'm doing everything last minute. I'm sorry. I'm just, that's me. Why do I look like a bunny? I went to the pool yesterday for the first time in this whole summer. Um, they opened up my pool on post. 
I live on a military base, so it's basically just limited capacity and no reservations. You just have to go in the time slots that they put on the thing. And you can only stay, they have one hour and 45 minute time slots, so. Thankfully I'm not sunburned. It looks like I got like a little sunburn line. I don't know how the heck that happened. I was putting on so much sunscreen, I was like, I'm not getting burned. Especially because I have dance recital soon and I'm like, I am not getting burned. Who do I think? Uh, son, who do you think you are? I'm not getting burned. Um, like literally I'm finding no days to do it. Tomorrow me and my family were going like kind of camping. It's like a KOA like camping ground. But I guess it is camping. I don't know what you'd call it. I mean, it's just literally kind of down the street. Not really. Um, but yeah. So, I use the Laura Mercier concealer. Um, if you guys know any better uh, concealers for, you know, dry skin let me know but I used to always use the Maybelline fit me uh, I just it was like the one at the drugstore that you know went with the fit me foundation so I just got it and it and it works so I might just get that one again cuz this kind of seemed like a waste of my money low-key it's just like not worth it. I also decided to get Rimmel Stay Matte Powder again. The only thing is I got it on Amazon and I feel like it might be a dupe because it, I remember it used to have the uh, logo etched in to the powder. So whenever I got it, I was like, <sighs> that's a little sus, but I mean, it's a, it's a matte powder. And uh, I'm just sick of the airspun one getting everywhere so so for my hair I decided to do a side part today so that's different I've been doing middle parts my whole life not my whole life but recently that's all I've been doing so because if I want to do like a side braid I just think it would look better if it was parted right here so we'll see how it looks and also, Alexa, is that her name in the show? Ah, I'm pretty sure. I'm bad with remembering names when I watch TV shows. She has like a little beauty mark above her lip, so we might do that. I've never, never done a beauty mark. But. Now, under her eyes, she does brown. I'm not going to do that yet. Let me contour. What am I? I found my butter bronzer. Thank God. It was in my dance bag on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just snatch my soul. I might bake it. I used to bank my contour. Bank. Like right here. I used to do that like each time. I'm also going to contour my nose, which I never do. If I'm doing this right. Now I'm gonna take my air spun. And then you swipe it off and it just creates like a line. It looks really good. It looks like she has a lot of blush on at all. Cause she's a little, she's um, just a stone cold bitch. But I'm just gonna put some on cause I like blush. And then blend it in. It brightens it. 
and just makes you look beautiful. It is not sunny at all. Like it's very cloudy. It kind of looks like it's gonna rain, so I don't think I'm gonna get Mary very many cute pictures. I'm gonna take the brown and it doesn't even look like she blended it. Well, obviously she didn't do the makeup. Her makeup artist just kind of placed it. Um. It looks good right here. Over here, my I have some like wrinkly eyes so it doesn't look like hers she definitely has a different eye shape so but basically they did the brown over and you guys know i have my eyes on my inner corner have folds so i can't do the cute um like pointed black inner eye thing if you know what i'm talking about you know you get it but <laughs> As you can see, I did like that little black thing right there. Like she does, it's kind of hard. I think I'm using too big of a brush. That is always my downfall. I use too big of brushes for everything. And it wrinkles right here under my eyes, so it creases, you know? Then I just take some black eyeliner and put it all in my waterline. You already know. The picture I'm talking about of her makeup, but maybe I'll put it. I just don't know how I like the under eye thing. Whatever. It's time for lashes and lips. As for the beauty mark, I'm going to just use the Kat Von D lip uh, eyeliner. And then it looks like it's on her left side. So hopefully I can do that. I've never done beauty marks or anything. As eyebrows with the Anastasia brow pomade in dark brown. Um... Her look is very uh, flat eyebrow, like no arch kind of, so. What? Uh, pins. Pins? Bobby, not bobby pins. Thumbtacks? No. There's Uno eyebrow. Come on. This is the NYX Natural Lip Liner, and I'm just gonna line these lips. This is definitely a more pink lip gloss, but I don't have my normal butter gloss because that's in my purse. Unless my purse is downstairs. This is kind of holographic as well. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills like sample lip gloss. I'm not sure the color name. But it kind of like has a nude pink uh uh, reflect 
Um, there's my makeup. There we go. I don't know about that one there, mate. I don't know about that. We're not gonna do that. Yeah, no. And there's that. Now I'm gonna go do my hair, maybe put on a shirt, and then I will come back to you lovely people. So I just did my hair and put on a little shirt. There she is, hello. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little baddie transformation. I love doing my hair and my makeup. Okay. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and leave me a nice little comment. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, all that fun stuff. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next YouTube video, okay? I love you. Peace out, Girl Scout. Mwah.